Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is slightly different from our usual content. Um, there's some unfortunate news that we'd like to share and reflect on, okay? And it is important that we do so with the uh, utmost respect. Now, we're talking about uh, Shutaro Lida, a name that may not be as widely recognized as some of the industry's biggest stars, but whose impact on gaming, especially within the Castlevania series, is something all of us gamers should take a moment to appreciate. Uh, so, some of you may have already seen this on Twitter, or I guess we should say X now, right? Um, where Shutaro Lida shared an important update with a follow-up comment from uh, uh, Koji Igarashi, who many of you might recognize as the producer behind Castlevania and Bloodstained. Lida himself has been a key figure in shaping those iconic Castlevania games, especially the portable titles that many of us grew up with and still hold dear. Um, if you're a fan of the more Metroidvania-style entries in the series, you owe a lot of that to Lida. Now, for those who aren't on X or who might have missed this, uh, let's bring you up to speed. Now, uh, Shotaro Lira's tweets shared some personal news, which was followed by uh, Koji Igarashi's offering uh, some words of support. Now, we're seeing a lot of fans in the community coming together to send their well wishes, and it's, harm it's heartwarming to see such a positive outpouring for someone who's... <coughs> Contributed to so uh, contributed so much to the games that we love. Um, let's talk about that uh, legacy a bit. Now, uh, Lida-san was integral to the uh, portable Castlevania titles, and those games didn't just fill time between major console releases. They defined the portable experience for so many fans. L games like Castlevania Order of Ex uh, Excelsia, where uh, Lida-san was heavily involved, um, he brought a fresh, challenging twist to the series. They managed to expand on what we loved about the classic Castlevania games while offering something new. It's rare for a franchise to evolve so gracefully, and that's a testament to the incredible work of people like Lida-san behind the scenes. Um, it's also worth noting that the deep connection between Leda-san and Negarashi-san, these two worked side by side to craft what we now consider the golden age of portable Castlevania title titles. Um, Koji Igarashi's tweet speaks volumes about the respect and admiration that he has for Leda-san. Uh, these are more than just colleagues, they're friends, part of a small group of developers who truly pushed the boundaries of what gaming could be, especially within the realm of platformers and action-adventure titles. And this brings us to another solemn point. Um, Lee Desan's news comes in the same year that we lost uh, Yoshitaka Murayama, another former Konami, um, known for his work on uh, Sikoden and its spiritual successors. When we reflect on Lee Desan and Murayama-san's legacies, we're reminded of how much Konami during that golden age of the 90s and early 2000s gave the gaming world some of our favorite experiences, whether in the gothic horror of Castlevania or the deep narratives of Sikoden. These were shaped by the, the incredible developers. Now, seeing the community 
rally around this moment is really something special. It reminds us that while gaming is often seen as a business, and it's true that the industry is huge and corporate in many ways, at its heart it's still a community. A community of creators, players, fans, and those who support one another through difficult times. While we're here today talking about the news from Lida-san, uh, let's also take a moment to reflect on how connected we all are through this shared love for gaming. Now, before we wrap up, I just want to say from all of us who've been immersed in the world of Castlevania and who've spent countless hours exploring Dracula's castles, the and battling creatures, uncovering secrets, and enjoying the brilliant level designs. Thank you, Shotaro Lida. Your work has inspired so many of us, and your contributions will always be remembered, not just as part of franchise, but as part of gaming history. So while this video isn't about breaking exciting news or reviewing the latest releases, we hope it serves as a small tribute to a developer whose impact has been profound. We're not monetizing this video out of respect for Lida-san, but we wanted to take a moment to show our gratitude and support during what is clearly a difficult time for him. Um, let's keep him in our thoughts and continue to celebrate the games that bring us together. Thanks to the brilliant people like him. Now, if you've ever played and enjoyed any of the Castlevania titles that Lida-san has worked on, let us know in the comments which one was your favorite. And share your memory with the community. And until next time, take care and keep gaming. Peace.